What is going on, my fellow outlaws? Outlaw Gary here. We are in beautiful Red Dead Online. Talk about the naturalist role. Now, this is going to be the naturalist role for dummies because apparently I'm a dummy. I had no idea how to do this new role. Going to be really honest with you guys. No clue. Many of you guys are probably having the same issue because honestly, there was no instructions on how to do any of this stuff. There was no like, hey, this is how you do it. But I found out some things. So first things first, you guys see this? is bird i just shot it with a 22 sedative round now here's the thing if you use the sedative rounds on animals that are small it kills them right but many of you guys may not even know what the sedative round is because i had no idea until today so in today's video we're going to be explaining how to properly play the naturalist role and to rank up easily effectively and quickly if you are new around here hit that subscribe button click the little bell to get notified of course Drop the video a like. Big thanks to all you guys that are part of the Outlaw Gary community because <laughs> this new update, even though it's not what all of us dreamed of, at least it's something to pass the time, especially during these times when we have so much time to pass. So first things first, when you play this role, you want to get the sedative round. You're probably wondering, Garrett, where do I get the sedative rounds? Well, <gasps> let me show you. Oh, speaking of sedative, wait, how come it didn't... Hey, yeah, hi. Um, to get the sedative round, you have to talk to Harriet Davenport. And she can be found literally anywhere in the map that has a little uh, magnifying glass. That's her icon. Now, when you speak to her, you want to go to the buy section. She also has missions. Don't do the missions just yet. You can do them, but you unlock the legendary missions later on. She will have missions available for you that do increase your naturalist role uh, because you're doing missions for her. But you want to buy the sedative varmint ammo and you want to pretty much max it out. On top of that, if you did um, attach your Twitch Prime, you also get a few other things included. You get the legendary animal pheromones. Uh, pheromones. I think you get five of them for free, so make sure you guys pick those up. If you buy them individually, they're pretty expensive. They're 20 bucks a pop. You also might want to pick up the blending tonic because it allows you to get closer to animals without getting scented, and that's where our journey begins. This role is a bit weird. It's sort of like the collector role mixed with the photographer role on the one, and it's sort of awkward. If you open up your inventory and go to items, you should have an animal field guide. Upon opening Opening this bad boy, you will notice you have a bunch of goals and objectives to do, and you have to sort of collect samples. Now, upon doing so, you will unlock things for the animal field guide. As you guys can see, I currently have literally nothing unlocked, like nothing. So my biggest recommendation to level up the, nat the naturalist role is to just run around, of course, looking for animals. So let's go find some animals real quick. I'm going to take a blending tonic just for the heck of it. Now, I did go ahead and sort of sedate that one deer, but I don't know where it went. It might have gotten away, to be honest. Oh, look at this. Oh, no. Come back. I just want to sedate you. What? Got him. Okay, so the one I sedated went this way. Okay, how many shots do I gotta shoot into this guy? All right, you know what? Oh my God, it's a whole family. Bro, these sedating shots are the worst. Here's a Rocky Mountain now. The idea is to study them first, right? You get XP bonus for studying them. Then you wanna call them. Then. Bro, is this thing ever gonna go to sleep? I think, oh, it's sleeping. Oh, hallelujah. You can see in your mini map. Oh my God, I had to put like five shots in this thing. Got him. That's a two for baby. That one's gonna go to sleep right now too. Go to sleep. So once I have this thing down, as you guys can see, he's sleeping. I can take the sample. So I take a sample of his blood and then he's good to go. In doing so, I'm, I get the Rocky Mountain Elk sample, which is really good because you wanna get enough samples for your book, pretty much. Um, I have now collected one of 14, and then I can revive the bad boy from me purchasing revivals, and then I get, um, I lose, I lose the animal revived thing I used, but I also get some XP. So you don't have to revive them, by the way. But if you want to, it's a little bit extra XP in doing so. Oh, shoot! I forgot to take pictures! Okay, sorry, little dude. Okay, he's not really in the shot, but whatever. Let me get a better shot. Let me get a better shot. Hey, stop crying, all right? It's gonna be okay. I think they might have to be alive for me to for me to get credit for them for the pictures. All right, I'm gonna take the sample of the buck now. Ideally, you don't wanna... I don't think you have to revive them, but I... Um, you might as well, because I, I bought a bunch of revivals. Get out there. You also get honor, too, which is pretty dope. Okay, so... As you guys can see, this role is pretty grindy. <laughs> right out the gate, you're like, okay, well, Garrett, like, uh, this is gonna take forever. And reality is, it is. So as you guys can see, I am level one. And the idea is 
to get enough animals sedated, sampled, taken pictures of, so then you increase your rolls. Ideally, you want to do it in different sections. So right now, I'm literally in the middle of nowhere, just running around like a madman, taking pictures of animals. Where the heck? Okay, there's some over here. Okay, I already have the buck. I don't need another buck. Let me see. Ooh, a white tail buck. Perfect. I don't have a white tail buck. So I'm going to get close enough to this bad boy. So we can study him. Perfect. 57 XP for the naturalist. Now I have to unload my weapon into him. Oh my god, how many shots? Bro, come on. Look at him go. There we go. Oh my god. They don't go down, dude. These things are fighters. Like, you really gotta chase these things. Holy. The grind is real, dudes. You're just sleeping. Stop crying. My god. Now, killing the animals gives you no additional benefit. It does not help you at all. But we've collected three or 14 samples in the mountain and grassland habitat, so that's pretty cool. All right, get back out there, dude. You got this. So about every single time I do this, I'm getting about 55 XP per animal, which honestly, <laughs> it's not a lot. I already have the white tail buck, I think. I think I need a white tail buck, though, for maybe. I think I need it for um for one of the trinkets. I hope this lady doesn't know I'm skinning this. If she finds out I've killed this thing and skinned it, oh, she's gonna hate me. She's gonna hate me. But the animal field guide has been updated, and we're gonna hold F1 and check it out. So the field guide is oh, I haven't even for oh I gotta I gotta take pictures of them too. Oh my god. Now I have to find another one. Oh, look at this silver fox. Look at this little guy. Let's take a picture of him. Don't mind me. Just taking pictures. Got the photo done. No, he's running. Hey! Oh god, where'd he go? I lost him. He's right here once and twice. Boom. Got him. Go to sleep, little boy. Go to sleep. Dude, honestly, it's <laughs> as stupid as this sounds. It's actually pretty fun running around shooting all these animals. I have such purpose. I have such purpose. My job is to collect them all. Gimme, gimme. Boom. Oh, we gotta revive him. Wait, what happens if you revive a bear? Let's go find a bear. <laughs> now, if I remember correctly, there should be some bears out here somewhere. I just to remember where. Now, in single player, this building is like a bear cabin where this guy dies and it's like a whole sad story. And if you go in here the bear attacks you i don't remember if there's one like, if there's actually a bear in this area in online but we're gonna find out in the meantime we're gonna search these drawers and steal everything <laughs> oh my god there's a pronghorn doe right here i shoot it in the face will it give me go Oh my god, this thing's so fast. How am I supposed to hit this thing? There's no way. Uh, the, these sedatives suck. I swear. What are they made of? Plastic? Is this a moose? Oh, an elk. Yes. And he's stuck. Perfect. Yes, come to papa. Come to papa, baby. That is what I'm talking about. You're stuck. You ain't going nowhere. You're mine for the taking. Go to sleep. Go to sleep right now. Thank you very much. I appreciate you. And let me revive this bad boy. Get back out there and find me a bear. See you later. Oh, man. The glider thing is in... Wait. Is it online? Has it always been online? I thought it was only in single player. Wait, did they add all the Easter eggs into online as well now? Has this always been here in online? Let me know in the comment section. I know it was in single player, but this is a future thing that might be coming to online, dude. Oh, we got the big horn sheep. Oh, man. So this is the objective. Study is like the main way to make money or make XP for, for this. Then, and I just, I think I just leveled up. Then taking pictures helps. Hello. Boom. Club rewards. Let's go, baby. And then you want to sedate them, which my God. Oh, all about the tracking, bro. Seven shots to sedate. That's nuts. Hey, don't mind me. This is just your friend going down here. Then I take the samples and then revive. Slowly but surely, we are ranking up, dudes. This is the fastest way that I've seen to, like, do this roll. We've got to find a bear. I know there's bears up here, though. In this little area, there's bears always. So let's go find a bear. Speaking of bear. Speaking of bear. Got him. Let's go. Easy. Go to sleep, little bear. Go to sleep. Wait, can you not study when they're sleeping? What? That's ridiculous. Why, why can't I study them when they're sleeping? That makes no sense to me. Well, at least we got the sample of a bear. That's good. Now I gotta figure out how I can study it before it kills me. Uh, wait, can you not study a bear you already took samples from? I guess you can't. There's a rabbit here. Hello, little rabbit. Well, I guess because this bear is a baby bear, maybe? And because I already grabbed its sample, I cannot study it. Which then, I don't know if I lost, like, extra XP because I sampled it before studying it. So I guess we have to find another bear. So pictures doesn't give any XP. It's just simply the study sedate sample. I already have the... Do I already have it? I don't have it study don't be scared oh <gasps> you kidding me come on give it to me study sedate oh 
come on. Oh, hallelujah. Right before nighttime hit. Let's go. Give me that sample, baby. Give me that sample, baby. Easy. And revive. Now, reviving will cost you money, like a lot. So reviving every animal sometimes probably isn't worth it. Look at this little guy. Little possum. I think the, like, the smaller the animal, it might be easier. And if you're on controller, it's probably... Oh, come here. Let me see the okay. It's probably It's probably way easier to study on controller because you stay locked onto the animal. Oh, my God. It's so much easier. Oh, my God. That's so easy. Look at this. I'm a studying man. Master. Oh my god, that's so broken. I on PC, it's the worst. I've been doing it wrong all along. Oh, grizzly bear, grizzly bear, sedate him, sedate him, please. Yes, and I studied him before he sedated. <laughs> <laughs> yes, dudes. All right. Okay. Now, this is what I'm worried about. I'm going to take his sample. I don't know what will happen if I revive him right here. Am I going to die? Am I going to die? Please don't kill me. This is all for your better and good. I swear. I'm not trying to. I'm one with the animals. I am one with the grizzly bears. <laughs> yes. Run away from me. I'm too strong for you. <laughs> dudes, I wonder. I could just. <clears throat> <laughs> I'm okay. Can I ride him? I was wondering if maybe you could give me a ride. I don't have my horse. He refuses to come. <gasps> He's coming. Look at this. We're best friends. We are best friends. So we've spent like the last, what, 30 minutes maybe? Like arming these rolls and let's see where we're at. Rolls. Let's see. <sighs> Well, um, so this wouldn't be an Outlaw Gary video if I didn't give you guys, you know, a full Outlaw Gary experience. Now, I've decided to come back to this lady because Harriet's been holding out on us, dudes. All the samples that we've been taking from all these animals we've collected, well, these samples are pretty great because you can sell them for a dollar piece. They're probably like, oh, that's not that much. But you get 57 XP for the naturalist roll for every single one you sell. So it's super worth it. So if I sell them all, right? Boom. Look at this. I'm, I'm getting mad levels here, boys. Easy claps. Oh my God. And there's a bear right here. Look at this guy. Ready? Unload on him. Here we go. Boom. 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 Yep, run away. Oh, you big baby. Come get come get some. Got him. Let's go. Now, I don't know if I can get another sample of the same animal. So, we're going to try it. Come here, mother trucker. What the heck is going on over there? <gasps> I can get a sample. Let's go. So, if there's animals right around her camp, you can just collect their samples. And because I just got the grizzly bear, I can now revive him. And this grizzly bear is normally always in this area. I can now revive him, get XP, then run back to her. And I can honestly rinse and repeat this grizzly bear over and over and over and over and over as long as I sell my uh, sample to her. So it's sort of a, a little bit of an exploit, I think. Just saying. Just saying. You could probably just do the same animal over and over and over if it stays there, so it could be pretty fun. Hello, I'm back. Nope, but I do have something to sell to you. And she has missions, which we're gonna, we're gonna do right now. Look, this gives me almost six bucks. Give me my money, baby. With that said, we are now almost level two in our naturalist rank. On top of that, not only are we almost level two, we can also go do a mission and see how much that gives us. Let's see. A war here. Gus McMillan and his Philistine horde are one spear point in an army of invaders that want to rip this land up by its roots and plaster the ruins with cheap houses and totems of their bodies. That can't happen. She's the crazy. The of Macmillan's horde has settled in the area and are claiming the local wildlife as their prize. She's so I passionate. Strike back. Strike back. I to remind Gus and his dead-eyed roots what it feels like to be on the receiving end. I swear. Be careful what gets caught in the crossfire. She just wants me to kill everybody besides animals. So this loads you into a mission, as you guys can see. This is a naturalist mission, and let's quickly plow through this. Clear the poacher camp of and free any animals. Zucky ducky. My god, why the heck is it so far away? Couldn't it have been like right around the corner or something? All right. By the way, I'm not sure, but I think I just heard an animal that I've never heard before next to me. I think there's like a puma or something, or like, I don't know what the heck that noise was. I'm pretty sure I just heard it over here. Huh. It was so loud, too. Whatever. Let's go do this mission. What's great about these free roam, like these like single player missions, is that you can literally just have a boatload of animals to, to like farm. If you gotta study a bunch of animals, these might be your lobbies to do them in because animals spawn more frequently because it's only you in this single lobby. Arrived at the camp and is that what we heard? Let me use my controller for it does. Boom! <laughs> Guys, don't crouch! Don't crouch when you use the elephant gun! <laughs> <laughs> oh no! 
Oh no! <laughs> I'm gonna die! I'm gonna die! <laughs> oh my gosh! I don't even see these guys, bro. I don't see them at all. I, I, I'm not even locking in on them. Oh, I'm gonna die here, bro! Please. Catch everybody, catch! Oh my god, I just killed so many of them. Oh my god, I have my varmint rifle. I am s I have to get closer. I have to get closer. What up, boys? Oh <gasps> elephant rifle OP! What how did that miss? Oh god, there's a guy right here. Oh my god. I'm gonna reload this bad boy really quickly. Sir, please stop! Oh, I almost died! The thing is you're gonna wait for the reticle to really zoom in and it just destroys. It's one shot, one kill, baby. Hello, sir. Ooh, he's bleeding. One left. One left. Is he inside the house? What is that noise? Oh my god, look at that huge wolf. Hello? Knock, knock. Wait, what the? Oh my. <laughs> you fools! New elephant gun is OP! Hey, what does it say? Pick up what? Oh, pick up poacher. Ooh, take the oil? Yes, please. Listen, little animal, just relax. Being in the cage a little bit longer isn't gonna bother you. I have some enemies to loot. Give me a second. All right, little buddy, come on out. What the? Hey! Hey! What? Hey! Wait a second! What the? Okay, that- this was not a part of the deal! This thing wants to kill me! How? Wait, what the heck? I didn't know- okay, is this my sedating- sedating one? It is. You're gonna go to sleep. What? How is it not sleeping yet? There we go. Hey, now we're in the business. Well, hey, that works for me. I want to- could I have studied it while I was in the cage? Probably. Next time you guys are in these lobbies, make sure you, use, like, study them while they're in the cages. I eat it? Well- oregano wait wait what okay he landed on oregano excuse me just trying to take sample <laughs> right out of its butt i mean like so boom just like that easy levels dudes that's what i'm talking about so of course if you guys enjoyed today's video be sure to drop a like i believe we got some pretty good roll xp from that too let's check we level up in the roll we didn't even level up we didn't even level up from doing that job oh this game hates us i'll see you guys tomorrow with a brand new video or on my stream at twitch.tv slash job come hang out i'll probably live normally 10 a.m to 3 p.m est i'll see you guys there bye dudes hopefully this video helps you go watch one of these two videos go go go